is up, everybody. I'm sorry I'm eating and talking, but I'm in a hurry. Today's going to be a little bit different than the video. As you already saw, I ate and made breakfast. But now, like you've seen on the map, we have to go from Raftrum, Idaho to Stanwood. I need to sign some paperwork and give somebody some money. And then it's about the only ties I have left to Washington, which is awesome. I'm gonna shut down the Washington business. It's gonna be no more. Wet wrenches is gonna be put to bed. We got other things to do and we need to do them in Idaho because I'm very sick of going to Washington. So, we're just doing our best not to go there anymore. Especially for work. It's just not uh, cost beneficial. And most of the customers in Washington are whiners. They all want something for free. They all want you to like be their friend. I'll take you out on my boat. I don't wanna go out on your boat. I wanna get paid to work on your boat and I wanna go home. Anyway, on another point, uh, I'm done smoking weed. Uh, I smoked the last of my weed yesterday. And I've been thinking about it for about a week. I'm just tired of smoking weed. It's getting old. Uh, it's turning into a chore. It's uh, taken over too much of my life. Um, when you forget your wallet, but you always remember your weed, it's time to take a step back and look and see what's going on. It's starting to get no better than alcohol or being an alcoholic, which I am an ex-alcoholic. I still drink occasionally. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. We're not gonna smoke weed anymore. We have better shit to do with our life and the weed is having such an impact that I'm not getting shit done. If you could turn your head around in the shop, you could see that it looks pretty much the same and I haven't gotten shit done. And weed is part of that problem. So we need to get rid of the problem. So we're gonna do that. But today, we're gonna see if we can do, it's 356 miles, I think you saw. 356 miles to Stanwood. So that's uh, 762, is that right? 762 miles round trip. Uh, it's almost 420 right now. Um, Wait, driver? Yeah. We're gonna see, we're gonna see if we can get there and back in 12 hours. So anyway, let's go guys. Thanks for coming by. All right, so it's 4.38. Let's see if we can get back here by 4.38. We got that much fuel. I don't think I'm gonna stop till I have to for fuel. We'll see where that is. The gold wing gets 38 or 40 miles to the gallon, so hopefully Thorpe. But anyway, let's hit it. Well, I decided to stop and get a little fuel before I even hit the freeway. I don't know if you can see, but there's a train. There's a train going by and I gotta cross it. Uh, so we might as well let it go anyway. So hopefully this is a time saver and not a time waster. We were going to top this off as much as we can. I wish the Goldwing held more fuel because I would ride further. It only gets like, I don't know, 300, 300 something miles. We'll find out. We're filling it up right here. This is, this is basically downtown Rathrum. Oops. Oopsie. Got it. Oh, look at that. We took two gallons even. Two gallons of this cheap shit. Wow. 
here we go again. Well, all right, we've made it to like exit 150. Uh, I believe so. I'll put on the map where I am. We're making pretty decent time. I'll show you what time it is here in a second. I got my phone going and my key out of the bike. So I can't show you right this second. But we were getting down there on fuel and we just went for the convenience stop. We're going through a lot more fuel than I thought I was going to because we're going a little fast. So, yeah. Come on, baby. Fill it. Let's see what time it is. Come on, come on, Honda. Uh, it's 7.02, and we've gone 100 and, oh wait, 175 miles. We'll reset this one. And that put us on the center stand this time so we can squeeze more fuel in it. When you're going long distances, you gotta, you might have to sacrifice some speed to get some more mileage out of your tank, especially if it's a small tank like this. And we're out of here. Just off the freeway. Yep, yep. Well, we've made it where we need to be. But right now, I have to use the bathroom so bad. I already got fuel in Stanwood. There's the stats. It's 946. I don't remember what time we leave. I'll get back to you. I gotta find a bathroom. Holy cow. I made it into the bathroom. <laughs> I had to urinate so bad. It almost happened in the parking lot. I was definitely doing potty dance. Good thing on the bike, I can only drink one cup of coffee. So anyway, I'm gonna go take care of my business. We already got gas right over there. I'm just gonna leave the bike where it's at because this is within walking distance. I'm nearly there. The bike's right there. We're going to a building right in front of us. Uh, oh, I got my wallet. Nice, good job, Ed. So, we're going to do that. I'm going to jam back to Linwood. I need to stop at Cycle Gear and get some different gloves. Oh my god, they're not even open. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I have an appointment and they're not open. Okay, so what I need to do, they don't open until 10. It's not 7 minutes from now. So we're going to use that 7 minutes to eat some food. Cause I really want to stop in Linwood and get gloves. The gloves I have, they're uh, built, but they're like cold weather gloves. And that, man, my hand's getting tired. Uh, for those of you that know me, no, I got, I got, I got some nerve damage in this arm, my bicep. It's got a pretty good sized puncture wound in it. I mean, it's all healed, but it did permanent nerve damage. One of the reasons why I wanted a gold wing because they're very smooth, that when the handlebars vibrate really bad, it just kills my right arm. But it's getting to me just in the 380 miles we've ridden. So I'm going to stop at Cycle Gear and get some different gloves because it's hard to, I'm like fighting the tension of the gloves with my hand. And it's just, it's murder on my arm. Anyway, I'm gonna go see what they have to eat in QFC. And then uh, I'll get back with you guys. <laughs> All right, you guys. We did our deed. We got our stuff. Adulting is taken care of. So, I'm hauling the mass back to Idaho. You guys can keep this place. I can't stand it here. Just 
oh, the demographic here has gotten horrible. So, anyway, well, I'll talk to you guys in Linwood when I go get some gloves. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I still didn't get a chance to eat because QFC didn't have anything ready. Apparently 9 o'clock is too early for the deli, or 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Apparently that's too early for the deli. I don't know why, because the parking lot is already full of work trucks that are probably looking for food, not work. So our time leaving Stanwood is 10.11. And to get here, we did 377 miles. And we got, oh, I better reset that. That was on that last tank of gas. 377, back of gas, we're full. I am gonna take Pioneer Highway out of here, which will add a little time, but it's nice and windy and fun. I wish I had a GoPro so you guys could go too. Maybe I'll try and use my phone. rougher in five years. It's probably been about five years since I've been down Pioneer Highway. And man, all the roads in Washington are going to hell. We spend the, I don't anymore, but all these people, all these people passing me, that guy, that guy, that guy, they spend so much on road tax and their tabs go to road tax and it all goes to the frickin' uh, light rail and mass transit. That's what all the money goes to. It doesn't go to fixing the roads. 
I mean, there's some new asphalt here and there, but sorry, Randy. I don't think I'll be stopping by. I gotta beat those clouds. And I'm trying to get home before Savannah, just for shits and giggles. So that's what I'm doing. Hopefully your pump shows up before the weekend though. Anyway, time to hit the freeway. Like I said, I'm going to Linwood, get some new gloves. What just happening everybody? We made it, well that's, that's cycle gear. They're storefronts. It's in the front of the store is where the storefront is. I picked up a 10C Pro because it was on clearance because they're coming out with a new model, he says. So, uh, well, Savannah has the 10C Pro though, and that's the only person I really care to communicate with on another motorcycle. So, I'm gonna put it in my helmet because it's the C, so it has camera, so I can actually get some video for you guys on the way home, which would be nice than just listening to me blab all the time. So we're gonna see what this takes to get it on a helmet. Although I'll have to change helmets with it because I've noticed on the way over here that my helmet's a little too big. I'm sure my hair looks amazing. But my helmet, it's, it's just a little too big. It moves around too much. Um, I shouldn't have bought a helmet a few days after I got my wisdom teeth out, <laughs> but that's when I bought the whole bike and you know, whatever shit happens. So I'm going to try and get this installed in the helmet. Maybe I can set up something so you guys can see how it's done. I'm trying to put you in the ram mount. made it back to Ellensburg. We're at the pilot a little bit before I usually stop. Uh, I was thinking about getting a bagel, but I just lost a bunch of time in a construction zone because they're redoing the asphalt, which you can't be mad about because at least they're doing something about it. Everybody in Washington gets mad about the road conditions and then they get mad when they're fixing the roads. I mean, what are they supposed to do? At least it's the middle of a weekday and not a weekend memorial day weekend <laughs> they'll do that next weekend so skip i need to go in and get a phone charger um the kid at uh where were we cycle gear i went back in and he put in my cena 10C Pro into my helmet. Um, he didn't want me to record in the store. I don't know why. But, you know, I don't think he wanted to be recorded is what it is. So, I didn't. And then I got in a hurry because it took him like half an hour to install it in my helmet, which it probably would have taken me the same. He did a really nice job, but we were also blabbing, so it took him longer because he couldn't work and talk, but that's cool. It was nice of him to do that for me. So now we're gonna slam some fuel on this. Ooh, I'm gonna go inside, get some food, a quick one, and a charger, and we'll get the hell out of here again. Hopefully I can put enough in here to get back to exit one. I was following some Colorado or something up the pass. Dude was doing 95 the whole way. So, well, I was following him. So you can just go ahead and guess how fast I was going. But that's like 4,500 RPMs on the gold wing in it. She consumed some fuel. Okay, we got a granola bar and a charger. And that was gross. So I just put that in my mouth. Who knows where that even came from? We're gonna get some power going. We're on mile 538 and it's 1.28 p.m. That's why it says 13, 13.28. Clear this trip. 
I'm gonna plug this in and we'll get going. Holy cornhole. We did it with minutes to spare. Two minutes to spare. Let's see how many miles. 700, 759.8 total in 12 hours with two stops. Stanwood and back. Oh, I got to go lay out the dogs. I'll be right back, guys. Also, I'm doing the potty dance again because the last time I peed was in frickin' Stanwood, Washington. No, I don't keep my keys in here. I can't believe I actually made it in less than 12 hours. Like we're a minute past. Well, we weren't, but now we are. 759.8 miles. Rathdrum to Stanwood, Washington and back. We stopped. We stopped in Stanwood. We did our business there. We got right back on the bike. We went to Linwood. Uh, we went to Cycle Pro. Kid put on 10C Pro on the helmet for us. Fired it up. And hauled ass back. Uh, I think how many gas stops did I make? I made, so this morning I stopped, I stopped right in Rathgrim. I'm like shaking cause I'm hungry. I stopped right in Rathgrim and got gas. And then I got gas at mile marker 149, right there at the Shrees, the east side Shrees. And then we magically made it all the way to Stanwood where I got gas at, what was that? At, I guess it was a QFC. At the QFC, I got gas. So that's three, three stops for gas, but it was pretty much already full on the first one. So two full tanks. And then I went over Snoqualmie and I stopped at the Pilot in Ellensburg and filled back up. And we are... We are bingo. I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's bingo. Actually, I think bingo is like you have to go back to base, not empty. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a pilot. I just talk to one all the time. Uh, yeah, that's that, guys. Fuck, thanks for coming by. Um, you guys want to see more bike adventures? Like, actually see the bike adventure? I know... Well, my GoPro Best Buy has it because I broke it and I have insurance on it. And of course, they had to send it out, which is stupid because it's not repairable. And we're not on the 8 anymore. They should have just given me my money so I could have got another GoPro. But whatever. I just wasn't prepared to do this trip. It's just the only day this week that it was nice. And it was a nice ride. What you doing, Falcor? Huh? What you doing, buddy? What you doing, buddy? What you doing, pipey? Yeah. Falcor, why are you always gonna jump on pipey? Hmm? So anyway, I'm gonna go inside and eat some food because all I've had was those bacon and eggs you saw and a cliff bar. So, thanks guys. Rock on.